Thank you for joining us and we are here to celebrate. This is one of our favorite shows on Around Town. We are celebrating a small business of the month winner for September. It's Bats, Bats and Bell. We've got Jeffrey Bats, Mike Bats, and of course James Mills who is one of the vice chairs of the Small Business Committee. And we are just really happy that y'all are the winners. Were you surprised when it was announced? I was surprised. I have been to, uh, in my years with the Chamber, I've been to a lot of small business of the month uh, uh, awards ceremonies mm -hmm. and, and visited a lot of places and it's it's a great pleasure to be on the other uh, on the other side of it. Absolutely and I have to say you were chairman of the chamber so that that's what in case somebody doesn't know you were making <laughs> reference to but this firm in your family I know when I first moved here your father was yes. here and and I was told early on he is such a person of high character, of, of extremely high intellect. So I'm assuming y'all you know, are right following his footsteps. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll just count we try. on that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's take a look. James, I think you're speaking at the presentation. Right. And let's take a look at that, and then we'll be back and talk some more. Good Two, <laughs> one. I get y'all's attention every time when I do that. Three, two, one. That looks, looks just like you. Good afternoon. My name is James Mills. I'm the co-chair of the Small Business Committee for the Chamber. And we're here today with Bats, Bats & Bell, um, an awesome law firm right here in the great city of Rocky Mount, to honor them with the Small Business of the Month for the month of September. Um, I have Jeffrey uh, Bats with me right now, and I'm going to let him kind of talk about the... Uh, for, well, first of all, we'd like to congratulate him, obviously, um, and allow him to kind of say what he wants to say. Well, we appreciate the honor here at Bats, Bats & Bell. Um, we're a firm uh, that uh, really started in, in 1958 when my dad came here for, out of law school and got things cranked up. And now my, myself, my brother, and my brother-in-law, Joe Bell, and, and uh, other attorneys and an excellent staff have been pleased to keep it going and have also been pleased to uh, be part of this great community and part of the Rocky Mount Chamber of Commerce. I have a particular appreciation for the Rocky Mount Chamber of Commerce and it's a real honor for us to have been uh, selected as September Small Business of the Month. So, um, you know, small business, over 90% of the um, businesses in Rocky Mount are small businesses. Um, so as the, the committee, you know, we're, we're, we applaud um, the, the business and the jobs and, and the great things that you guys do in the community. So again, I just want to say congratulations. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, we are located in your new beautiful facility here. And I know for your, give us the history. You referenced it when James was talking to you earlier, but 1958? 1958, my father uh, got out of uh, his specialty tax, uh, law school or tax school at New York University and came down and joined Frank Meadows. Mm -hmm. uh, and they opened a partnership in downtown Rocky Mountain in 1958. That grew into a, a many named firm with many attorneys in it uh, and really probably got a little too large for my father's taste. Mm -hmm. uh, so he, uh, he went out on his own and, uh, in 1980. And then in 1987, eight, uh, 1988, seven, eight, somewhere Mike right uh, yeah. finished oh, his. Oh, I came back in eight. Right. right finished his uh, tax specialty school at uh, Florida. Mm -hmm. and came back and began working with him. I came back, uh, I practiced in Greensboro, came back in 1990, and then our brother-in-law, Joe Bell, came in 1994. Are you saying, Matt, that you're the younger brother? Is I am the younger brother. Okay. I'm the younger yes. brother, I, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm certain having the, the chemistry between the two brothers All working together is interesting. Is that a yeah. good word for it? We make it, it works. work. Yeah. We it make works. It. Yeah. <laughs> Well, tax, Mike, did you go into the tax field because that was seemed, I mean, I, it, that was one of your dad's really strong areas, right? That was, right, and that was uh, after I got out of law school, or while I was in law school, I decided I wanted to come back and work with him, and I knew if I was going to have any hope at all of understanding what he was talking about, mm -hmm. I needed to concentrate in that and <laughs> go to that extra year of um, tax graduate program, mm -hmm. and uh, so I, Went down to Florida for a year, got all the rules straight in my head, mm -hmm. so forth and so on, and then uh, came back and 
as I started trying to learn how to apply them to real life situations as opposed to just on the, the books. Rumor has it that even the IRS was scared of your dad. I mean, he really was quite, James, have you ever heard that? I have heard that, but I don't know the full story, but I have heard that. <laughs> they, sh they should have been. <laughs> well, he was brilliant. He I mean, was. and I'm certain that y'all follow in his footsteps, but he was just always, um, I remember when, when I moved here 30 years ago, people used to point him out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Jeff Batts, and boy, you don't want to have to be on the, uh, the other side from him in court. Well, he, was well, a he was a real gentleman, but if anything could get him fired up, it would be a, an IRS agent who couldn't quite understand the way things should be. <laughs> <laughs> and now you don't do quite as much tax work as Mike, is that correct? Do I don't. I was a CPA for 25 years, so I didn't go oh. to tax school. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I, not, I didn't practice 25 years, mm -hmm. old, but I, I retained my license for many years, but I had the same uh, financial background Mine's a little more general than, than just in the tax mm -hmm. area, but with all the small business work we do, we do a lot of it that's financially oriented and mm -hmm. uh, involves advising people, not just with respect to lawsuits and things like that, but, but with respect to planning and, and operating their business. Mm -hmm. so, so then, is it fair to say that, um, I guess firm-wise, that the majority of your business, is, um, business clients is um, criminal work or anything like that, or is it all tax? and? and businesses, small businesses. Yeah, but on the tax side, it's mostly estate planning and such like that. Um, not so much representing people in, in tax court on income tax audits or things like that, although we still do some of that. Okay. Um, but most of what I do is in the estate tax or estate planning realm. And then, like Jeffrey was talking about, on the, on the business side, it's more of a if you're getting ready to start up a business or you're getting ready to get out of a business or sell a business, there are lots of considerations and tax, unfortunately, happens to usually be a big part of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we be able to advise people on, all right, well, these are the pros and cons and one of them is the, the, you know, the tax implications of what you're trying to do. Or if you're in a business and you're not necessarily getting along with your co-owners anymore, right. there's, a lot of, there's a lot of that that, that goes on. Yeah, there's different ways to resolve that. Mm -hmm and they all have different tax results. So. And family law then will be the one of the few areas you don't do, is that correct? We actually do, is? Joe Bell and Mike Smith uh, do uh -huh. family law, but it's, 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 it's not exclusively what they do. Uh -huh. So you're kind of one stop, I mean y'all have diversified from what your father started out to really care, cover almost all aspects of law, is that correct? I think we don't, we, we we're doing bankruptcy and we don't anymore, right. and we don't really do real estate, uh, you know, real estate closings and things like that, but we can, we can talk with you about just about anything else that you might have. But I want to say, because we are big fans, as y'all are, of Rocky Mount. I mean, I think that nobody should leave Rocky Mount for anything. I agree. All our dollars I agree. here. Absolutely. And, I agree. And, and to have the caliber of legal advice that you gentlemen avail here, kind of, Jeffrey, expand on that. That I mean, people don't need to go to Raleigh and pay more or something to get an attorney. They, they can get everything done here, right? They can, and they can get it done um, at a much better price, and they can get it done in Raleigh. So good that's point. A, a Overhead good is not as high here. Overhead is not nearly as high in Rocky Mountain as it is in Raleigh, and cost of living is not nearly as high as it is in Raleigh. So um, that's that's true. I think pretty much of, of just about all the firms in Rocky Mountain, you can you can do that, but. Uh, we, we do happen to be, uh, with respect to what my dad's practice was and then what Mike does and, and to some degree what I do, we are somewhat specialized in the business area and, uh, and it is good to be able to offer that here. Um, we draw our clients, a lot of them from Rocky Mount, but we have clients uh, really from Raleigh East throughout Northeast North Carolina and all the way down to, uh, to Wilmington. Great. So we, we draw them from a, from a pretty big area particularly I think in the uh, estate planning uh, mm -hmm. in the estate planning area won an award too didn't you you recognized I think I read in the the release Martin about Bell, it. Hubble I was yeah. about that what does that mean oh that's just Oh, our okay. rating. Say yeah. it's great. So yeah. have, <laughs> I mean, no, it's it is our, our firm rating. It's not an award. It's not an award. It's, oh, okay. it's a rating. Yeah. But it's, and what does that mean? Mike? Uh, it me uh, it's the they rate they they take a survey of other lawyers other law firms and um, to rate you on competence and ethical um, so is this through your peers your peers are rating yes. or that's the way Martin Dale Hubble does all their ratings. Mm -hmm. okay. and um, gosh they've been around for ever since I've been practicing mm -hmm. um, that used to be 
I think they used to be about the only one. Mm -hmm. Now there's all kinds of lots of other different rating things and super lawyers and things like that. And the rating you have is the highest that they have. Yes, is that correct? we carry an AB the, the rating as a firm, and, right. and does Mike, AB stand for? Yeah. Uh, a is the highest level of uh, ability, and V is is the highest level of ethics. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. congratulations on that. And before mm -hmm. we take a break and meet the rest of your employees. Y'all have, have expanded um, since you've got, what, six and five? You've got six office staff and five attorneys here? Correct. And I think we're going to learn it when we talk to them that you maintain the staff. I mean, once you get somebody, they don't want to go anywhere, right? <laughs> right. <Is that? laughs> right. If we can find folks who like to work with us, we sure do right. like to keep them. <laughs> Including Mike's wife. That's right. Yeah. Joined us recently. So, okay, well, let's take a break and we'll come back. And I think, Jeffrey, you're going to help me introduce all of them. I will. Okay, stay with us. Are you just starting out on your own and want to be independent? Do you have a family and need a bigger home? Are the kids moving out and are you downsizing? First Carolina Realty can help. A one or two bedroom apartment or house for those starting out. A three or four bedroom home for a growing family. Rentals, sales, new homes, pre-owned homes, investment property in the city or in the country. Call First Carolina Realty. Now is a good time to make that move. Real estate prices are right, interest rates are low, and there is a fantastic selection of homes available. First Carolina Realty is a fully licensed real estate firm with offices at 3151 Zebulon Road in Rocky Mount. If you have rental properties and are tired of the headaches associated with managing them yourself, or if you're looking for a new management team to manage your rental properties, call First Carolina Realty at 252-985-2321. Visit our webpage at firstcarolinarealty.com. We will gladly help you with all your real estate needs. Hi, I'm Jean Almond of Almond's Drugs, and I want to invite you to be Almond's customer for your prescriptions. Our average pharmacy wait for your prescription is only 10 to 15 minutes. We have drive through windows at both locations. We will deliver your prescription free. Our friendly and very experienced pharmacists specialize in consultation, and we are locally owned and have been a loyal part of your community for over 70 years. Just make one phone call to us, and we'll make the transfer so we can start taking care of you. And Jeffrey, our first person is? Young lady? April Summerlin is a legal assistant with us, and she has been with us for probably, what, 22 or 23 years? 20. 20 years? Okay, yes, yeah, it's, it's so far back that I don't need to remember. <laughs> April is one of uh, our very remarkably efficient uh, legal assistants. She actually does work for probably four out of five lawyers here in the office, maybe all five. Uh, so I might be shortchanging her a little bit, <laughs> but uh, she's been with us a, a, a good long time and, and does a great job. Was this your first job? No, ma'am. This was about my third job in Rocky Mount. Well, it obviously stuck if it you've did. been here. It did. Long. They've kept me. <laughs> and so you moved from downtown when the, the firm moved over here, right? Right, that's correct. What's the favorite part of your job? Probably dealing with the um, older generation people. Mm-hmm. I like, I don't know, I just like, enjoy hearing some of their stories and mm -hmm. how long they've been married and stuff like that. April's involved in drafting a lot of wills and trusts and things mm -hmm. of that of that nature, and that's uh, so she gets to see a lot of folks. Right. Uh, well, that's a good arena for you to be in since you like is. people who are doing a lot of that type <laughs> that's of right. thing. That's right. Thank you, April. You're okay. Welcome. And next we have? Okay. Mike Smith. Uh -huh. Mike Smith Mike. has been with hey, us probably uh, eight years as attorney uh, with us. Does a lot of um, a lot of criminal work. Does a lot of trial work. He does a lot of uh, civil litigation as well, and um, is probably as much of a general practitioner, I guess, as we have in the office. Mm -hmm. um, working with me on two or three things right now. Working with Mike on a couple of things. Working with Joe on several things. So. He's, uh, he's uh, the guy that we turn to when we need to get something done in the courtroom. 
What did, did you grow up here? I grew up in Hobgood, which is about an hour away. So you came to the big city. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Glad I, to be here. I think Jeffrey made the comment that he was going to get you kind of stirred up because you're kind of the, the lively one around uh, here. Is that right? That was <laughs> but but, but oh, okay. Mike's, Mike's <laughs> distinction is he's really kind of the tough guy in the office because he used to be an MP in the uh, Air Force, right? Yeah. Good. Right? Yeah. 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 So a while ago. Yeah. He Several keeps people ago. straight. When well, we, good. <laughs> I'm not that bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thank you for all you do. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh huh. Okay. Now, this is the lively one. Yes, right. Is, uh, it, he'll, he'll probably be good for uh, for our interview today. But Joe McKellar, Joe has been with us for what, three years now? Three years. Three uh -huh. years now. Uh, he practiced in Greenville mm -hmm. before he came back to Rocky Mountain to practice with us. We thought we were taking him out of a big city, and he said, you don't understand, I'm from Jackson. Greenville <laughs> is too big for me. Uh -huh. uh, so he was delighted to come to uh uh, Rocky Mount, his uh, wife is a physician over with Boyce Willis, and she was getting out of med school, and it worked out very well for us. Joe does uh, civil litigation for us and, and is involved in several pretty complex cases right now, mm -hmm. uh, spending way too much time, I'm sure, uh, with me, in his opinion. But uh, he does a great job for us in the uh, courtroom as well. I'm happy to be here. Where did you go to law school? Uh, North Carolina, UNC, Chapel, Chapel Hill. Hill. Oh, mm -hmm. good. Not Wake Forest, <laughs> huh, Jeffrey? <laughs> he, he's an exception. <laughs> and, and what do you like the most about you, what you do, or what are some of your favorite things? I like I like working with the lawyers and staff here. I like my clients quite a bit. I've gotten to know them very well, and uh, I enjoy getting to uh, to uh, understand their problems and hopefully solve them. Mm -hmm. well, it's got to be a pleasure to work in such a well-respected firm, too. Oh, well, I consider myself very fortunate. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh huh. And next we have. Brenda Wiggins, who is a paralegal with us and does uh, estate planning, uh, excuse me, estate administration work mm -hmm. and joined our firm probably within six months of me coming back in 1990, right? Mm -hmm. And so she's been here about 24 years uh, doing that for us. And we've done thousands of wills out of here and hundreds of estate plans. And so she stays very busy. Mm -hmm. Great. And so you worked with Mr. Batts, Jeff, yes. his father, for a long time. What what a wonderful legacy he's left, has he? He was a wonderful man, and I really enjoyed working with him. We miss him. I bet. Did you grow up in this area? No. I'm from Mississippi originally. Oh. So you moved up north to Rocky yes. Mountain. <laughs> What are some of your favorite parts of your job? It's working with the clients and getting to know them and being able to help them through this process. Super. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we have? Linda Radford, who again probably got here, I guess, within a couple of years of, of my getting back in 1990. You've been with us over 20 years as well. 24. 24 mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. as well. And, uh, I mean, one of, one of the great things and one of our strengths, I think, is that We've all worked together for so mm -hmm. long, and our staff has so much uh, experience here at our office that a lot of times mm -hmm. we hardly even have to talk to get things done. Everybody mm -hmm. just knows where they're going and where they're supposed to be. And Linda is Linda manages our office and really Great. rarely has to uh, pop in on us to ask us many questions or anything. <laughs> we just we turned that all over to her about 24 years ago and said mm. uh, she's done a great job ever since. Well, you must really like being here to stay for 24 I, years. I do, I do, very much. Well, great, and, and you keep everybody straight. Is that kind of your job? I'm getting that impression I from Jeff. I try. I try very hard. Uh -huh. Sometimes I'm successful. Oh, and I, we spoke about Mr. Mr. Bats, Jeff Bats. I'm sure that you've spent a number of years working yes. with him and, yes. and treasure enjoyed that it. too. Yes, enjoyed working with him and I miss him. Great. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we have hey <laughs> Joe Bats, who uh, is the uh, wife of. Mike Bats and mm -hmm. also my sister-in-law, of course. But Great. Uh, Joe is uh, Joe hand, greets our clients for us because um, she makes a better impression on them than uh, than we do, of course. Of course, uh, as they arrive at the office, mm -hmm. and she also she does a a number of other things that aren't as visible that that help keep the office running. And you've, mm -hmm. you've been here for what? Um, a little over a year. A little over a year. Yeah, yeah. we had. A, I started um, last July. A longtime receptionist who retired about a year ago, and we were very happy Joe wanted to step in and take her place. Oh, absolutely. And you, did you grow up here, Joe? No, I'm from Virginia. Okay. Mm -hmm. But your husband, of course, okay. always. Of course. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Do y'all have children? We have three. Are they grown? Is that why you came back to work or yeah, not my quite? My oldest one is 30, oh, <laughs> and my youngest one's 22. Well, super. Well, how has it been coming in, it's stepping great. in now? It's you're been the, great. I think you're the newest member of the office staff. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, they've 
done, they've treated me pretty well. Okay. So. <laughs> I think the ladies here help keep you guys straight too, don't you think? We would not be straight without the ladies here. That is exactly right. Well, great. Yes. well thank they you. They keep us straight. Appreciate right. it. We're joined by Joe Bell, and in fact, in Jeffrey Batts in the introduction, you left out Mike and Joe, so we could spend some special time with them. And of course, James Mills, Vice Chairman of the Small Business That's Committee. Right. You're married, Joe, as Bats, Bats, and Bell. You're married to their sister, right? That's correct. How's um, it going? It's fine. <laughs> well, I guess it's going fine. I really don't have a choice. But <laughs> well, that's kind of neat. I mean, I like the idea of, of a family. And, and obviously, Jeffrey, when you were introducing all of the employees, I mean, people come here and stay. So it must be a good place to work because there are options. Well, I hope I hope that that, that uh, they think it's a great place to work and that their their length of service indicates that. But we are really blessed to have those folks mm -hmm. that we introduce you to and and their experience here. It it, it really helps us run a lot better. Mm -hmm. I think. And Joe, I think your wife Amy, his sister, of course, worked here for a while at one point. She did. Well, she actually worked here with her father way back when, before she went off to school, and then she worked here a little bit. And um, but she now works with Body Knoll. She's working in the tax department at Body Knoll. She's a CPA. She's been working there about a year. She stayed at home with the kids, you know, for mm -hmm. a long time. She worked uh, during tax season with a bunch of companies. So, but um, she's she's now working back full time and enjoying it. Well, let's talk about kids because. You and your brother came back. Um, your sister came back off and on some, but certainly gave her other half. Should we call you better half? <laughs> no, I don't know about that. But. but are any of your children coming back here, do you think? Well, go ahead, Jeffrey. Coming back to Rocky Mount. Uh-huh. Well, being attorneys? So. I hope so. My, I have uh, mine are from 31 to 15. Three of them are uh, almost, well, the last one's uh, almost out of college. Uh, he's in his senior year, and then I've got two that are in high school, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, a senior and sophomore in high school. I really hope so, but I feel very fortunate that my, my two daughters, Jennifer and Casey, are both working and living in Raleigh. Mm -hmm. uh, my son's at ECU. I'm not sure exactly where he's going to end up because uh, he's doing computer science, but then um, Jake and Sydney, I have have loved Rocky Mount. They've loved growing up here, and uh, I, I just hope they all at least stay close. But mm -hmm. I really would like to get them out to Rocky Mount. Oh, I'm sure. And I know your two older daughters from cross country and right. track. It's a brilliant young ladies. And spelling bees. Cute as they can be, <laughs> yeah. but just br brilliant young ladies. Joe. Well, I've got three kids. My oldest, Spencer, uh, graduated from state in May, and uh, he's actually applying to medical school. So. Oh, awesome. Um, he's, as we speak, he is studying for the MCAT, um, and he's in the process of doing his applications. He's doing a, what they call a glide year or a gap year. Um, I really think there is a possibility he would come back, if not to Rocky Mount specifically, uh, to Eastern North Carolina. Uh, he loved growing up here. He lived here his whole life. Um, you know, he lived in Raleigh, you know, during school, uh, and he actually has a, a house with some other guys in Raleigh now, but he's studying here at home. I uh, would not be surprised at all if he came back uh, to this area. Uh, my daughter is at Carolina. She's a junior. Um, she, I, I don't know what she's going to do because I don't think she, she's actually uh, considering law school. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so that might be a possibility that she would come back here. And then my son is a junior at Rocky Mount well, high school, and uh, he didn't know what he wants to do. So we'll just have to wait and see that's on him. Normal. But you they, they all normal. love Rocky Mount. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I grew up in Greensboro, a big city. Uh -huh. Moved here in 1993, and really, I guess I've lived here longer than anywhere else now. And, and I would say that I would love for my kids to come back here. I, I think it's a tragedy when young people leave and don't want to come back or whatever. And I've always tried to encourage my kids and talk about Rocky Mountain in a positive way to, to come back here if, if they choose to. Well, and James, being, you can speak to this too, James, but there are a lot of the energy in young people too. Right. But we do want, before the time's over, we want to talk about that you all as a firm, Bats, Bats and Bell, have always given back, certainly with your time, but your resources and whatnot. You want to take that on? Just tell us why you feel that's important in some of the areas of interest, Jeffrey? Well, it really, after really it, about uh, 10 or 12 years ago, we all sat down and, and said to each other, we sort of challenged each other, go out and do more in the community of Rocky Mount than you've been doing. And, uh, and I think that's been nothing but positive, I mean, from, from every aspect of it. And as you do those things, I think you realize more and more 
that without people uh, mm -hmm. taking their time to do those things, there's a lot of this uh, area that just wouldn't run and a lot of things that just wouldn't get done. Uh, a lot of the real forward thinking in the community, I think, comes from that volunteer time. Mm -hmm. And so we will, we will continue to do that. Uh, and, and Joe and Mike and, and, and I and, and Mike Smith and Joe McKellar, we, we're always challenging each other to get out and, and do things in the community. I think, we, I think our community absolutely depends on it. Mm -hmm. And I, I would like to say, um, so each month as the committee is trying to figure out who we're going to, you know, obviously we get several nominations and then we choose. Um, that was one of the things that stood out about you guys. Yeah, the, the legal work and, and, and multiple um, generations, but also all the volunteer, um, youth baseball, um, you and working with the, the hospital and, and the different things and boards and commissions that you guys have all been a part of. Um, that really stood out to us and I, I think that's really what, what put you over the top while you are the, the winners for this month. Mm -hmm. well. Well, and keep it up, guys. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Well, and we all know we love this town. And the more you give, the more you get back. I think we all get back even more than we put in when, we, when we do that. So thank you. Again, congratulations. And we appreciate your joining us. See you next week. Mm -hmm.